Hey, welcome once again to Zombie Tactics. Today I'm in the kitchen for the third installment of the food prep for the Lazy, Late, and Cheap series. Today introducing the 72-hour or 3-day $20 um, survival food kit. Uh, and, it, and a lot of people have expressed a lot of interest in that, and I wanted to get to it as soon as possible. I'm kind of ramping up this series a little, little faster than I thought I would. Right off the bat, well, if you go online and you're saying, i got to get some survival food, I, I, I feel the need to do this because, you know, it could be a disaster or zombies or whatever, something in between there. <laughs> and uh, you start looking online, you're going to say, well, there's these things called three-day food kits or 72-hour food kits. And they'll generally fall into two categories. One of them is you'll get a number of four-and-a-half ounce or four-ounce packets of water, usually about six of them. And... Along with that kit, there will also be this brick of food bars that has a total of about somewhere between 3,600 and 4,800 calories. Sort of lemony little, I don't know, candy type things. They don't taste too bad. And you'll see those, and they sell for about 24 bucks. Now, I don't denigrate that product. That product has a useful place as a part of a, a survival planning list or whatever. It, it, it fills a valuable niche there. The idea that you could have water and some kind of calories put away in a way they'll store for freaking ever and then it will always be on hand. That's a good thing. Um, there are some problems though with that food kit, that $24 food kit. And the first problem is is that you're barely getting enough water um, at all. <laughs> and uh, although it's good that there is water in that kit. And the second one probably the more important one is that you're getting, depending upon the kit that you buy, you're getting something like 1,200 to 1,600 calories a day. And that's a, that's a bad idea. Um, most planning um, lists will tell you that you need to plan for at least what's the average adult American male, which is about 2,000 calories a day. Now, you know, your mileage will vary. You're either taller, shorter, fat or skinny, or you're female, you're four years old, you, if you've got a teenage boy, God help you, because 2,000 calories a day is a snack. Uh, <laughs> but you're going to have to um, do your own work to figure out how many calories a day is going to work for each member of your family. But 2,000 calories a day is the standard planning figure, so we're going to stick with that. 1,600 to, uh, 1,200 to 1,600 calories a day really is just barely getting by food. Some people will say, well, that's okay, most people are fat, uh, and they'll just burn off extra calories. The problem is, is that in most circumstances like that, unless you're engaging in a lot of aerobic activity, you're not going to burn off fat. Your body is going to go into either a mode where it's trying to conserve energy um, because it's getting so few calories, and what that's going to do is that's going to make you feel groggy, groggy not mentally aware, not energetic, precis precisely at a time where you need to be alert and, um, and, and maybe in better condition and, and, and ready to act. The other possibility is, depending upon what kind of condition you're in, your body will, if it actually tries to burn your own calories, it doesn't generally do a very good job of going to fat unless you're involved in a lot of um, aerobic activity. It will burn some fat, but at the same time, it will also begin to burn muscle, a process called autocatabolism or autocatabolic response comes into play there, and you don't want to have that happening to you at a time when you, again, need to be on your uh, on your best game. So that's the problem with that first food kit. The second thing that you'll see is you'll see something like the Mountain House 72-hour food kit, which is a, a, a good-sized cardboard box, and it's got a, a number of those Mountain House freeze-dried packets of meals. You just add water, and you've got food. If you can add hot water, that's even better. Now that's an excellent quality product. Um, I think Mountain House and those kinds of products, again, that's probably going to be a part of everybody's food prep or something like it somewhere in the game as you go along. A couple problems with it though. People will say, well, there's no water in that kit. That's okay. We'll talk about water in a future episode and, and why I don't think it needs to be as a part of your kit. It's a separate thing you look at. Um, but the biggest problem with that is, again, you don't have actually 2,000 calories per day if you start looking into what you're getting there. Uh, it is an excellent product, though. The food tastes good once it's reconstituted, and, and Mountain House products, really decent stuff. 
aside from those caloric intake things, there are some other factors that come into play why I don't think that those two things are um, the best way to go. By the way, those mountain house kits, when you price them out, uh, generally you're going to find them online for something like $76. I've seen them as much as $89, and the lowest price I've found anywhere from a store that seems to never have them in stock is about $40. Bucks. And when I priced it out, they wanted $15 for shipping and handling. <laughs> you know, you're up to $45 then. That's not really in our 20 day, $20 food kit area. But getting back to uh, the other factors that are involved, one of them, and one that people don't ordinarily think about, is that if you want to be on your best game, if you want to be ready to, to take a, a difficult situation head on, you've got to have psychological health as, uh, as well as um, physical health. And one of the things that contributes to psychological health is a sense of normalcy. And in all kinds of books that I've read on survival situations, in all kinds of crazy stuff, crashing in the middle of the jungle or soldiers in battle, uh, you know, with cut supply lines and things like that, psychological health is tremendously important. It's almost more important than your physical health. It's almost more important than the actual food or the number of calories that you're getting. So, uh, the psychological health factor that I want to introduce is the idea that if you all of a sudden start eating food that's completely different than anything you're used to eating, psychologically this kind of plays a trick on your head and it says things are bad, things aren't normal, um, and you can go into kind of a mild form of psychological shock just over that. Believe it or not, there are situations where people have been in disasters where there's plenty of food around and just because the food isn't what they're used to eating, they completely lose their appetite, they completely lose their thirst. They don't eat at all, they fall into a coma, and they either die or become very ill and worthless to everybody around them for no other reason than just the psychological pressures that are bearing upon them. So that being said, we want to try to go with food that has some sense of familiarity with us, something we might be used to eating, or we wouldn't look at it and go, oh gosh, that's totally weird. We want to have 72 hours covered with at least 2,000 calories per day and we want to keep it under $20. So here's where an edit's going to come in place and I'm going to introduce to you the 72 hour zombie tactics $20 food kit. Where am I? I'm going to start dragging stuff out here and um, some of this is going to take you a little weird. You're going to kind of go, oh god man you just went to the store and bought some crap. Uh, <laughs> There are specific reasons why the items I've got in this food kit are in this food kit. And as I drag them out, I just want you to take a look at them real briefly. And then maybe in the next video, I'll go over the specific reasoning behind all of these things and why it's a great idea for your 72-hour food kit. The most important thing, though, is that you have to understand is at the end of this, you're going to find out that you've got all the calories you need and you've got a balance of nutrition and other things so that this will actually be something you can eat and uh, for this for three days you will more than survive believe me you'll be in good shape this might even be for some of you comfort food in a time of need uh, I've got my laptop here because I want to go over the prices with you as I go about it maybe we'll play with some figures so you can see how this all works out uh, all the prices that I'm going to use are actually rounded up to like the nearest quarter or the nearest 50 cents there shouldn't be any reason why if you go to Walmart Target Costco, um, I don't know what your stores are on the East Coast, uh, what is it, Kroger or uh, Piggly Wiggly, something like that, Winn-Dixie, you should be able to meet these prices easily if you go to the right stores without any trouble at all, and these are all items that you'll find, uh, just standard, ordinary, everyday stuff. So let's get right down to it. In your kit, you want to get the following, Dinty Moore Beef Stew. This is the 38 ounce can and I found these for a little bit under 350 each at um, I think Target uh, locally and so I'm going to put two cans of that there. There's 900 calories in each can of this so right off the bat one of these a day and then get a can of Chef Boyardee mini ravioli a 40 ounce can and this cost $2.75 at Target. Okay, so right off the bat, we've got three cans of food that represent 900 calories each a day. Um, $3.50 each for this, 
about 275 or under for this. These prices, again, are all rounded up. You'll find them for cheaper, believe me, if you look around. If you don't like the stew so much, go with two of those instead and save some money. Okay, so we're going to get those guys in the kit. Just like that. To that, we're going to add a big can of Bush's baked beans, 50 5 ounce can. If you look around, you're not going to have trouble finding this for four dollars a can or less. Okay, more protein in, in, in a vegetable form here, lots of water, um, and again, mixing up our, our mix of foods that we've got. So you're going to put that can of Bush's baked beans in there, and that's part of our kit. To that, we're going to add a box. 14 ounce box of minute rice. We're using the minute rice because it doesn't take a lot of energy to cook. You can actually just, heck, you could just throw it in the beans and let it soak and you have a really thick bean and rice dish. And uh, so that can of uh, minute rice, two dollars or less, actually you're probably gonna find it closer to like $1.75 or under if you look around. Wait for it to go on sale. We'll add this to the kit. For a little extra meat and some fat, it's a little extra protein and some fat, we're going to throw in a can of Spam. The Spam can be easily mixed with the rice for a dish. It requires no cooking. You can eat it right out of the can. If you uh, divide this up into three days worth of food, that's about 360 calories a day of extra protein and fat and calories there. Now, so far we've got quite a bit of food here already. But we're going to throw into that a box of this instant oatmeal. This instant oatmeal, of course, requires a little bit of water to cook, but we're going to talk about water lately and why I don't think that's going to be as big a deal for some of you as, as it is for others. But, um, you know, you can have three of these each day for breakfast. Each packet is 160 calories each. That's probably more than most of you will eat for breakfast anyway, throwing that into the kit. And then just from the standpoint of just a comfort item, just something to make a, a difficult situation a little bit more bearable or something to have around just for the kids to make them feel like it's not all falling apart when it really is falling apart, that psychological health factor again. I'm getting um, the, uh, what is it, the snack pack of pudding here. And this is a, a snack pack that is made to be left on the shelf and it requires no refrigeration until the little individual pudding cups are open. There's four of those. So now take a look at everything we've got here. Now, rounding my prices up about 20 cents to 50 cents per item, this actually all comes in with me not even trying to shop around at all at $21.25. This is actually what I paid for this. If you I mean, this is not actually what I paid for this. I actually paid something like $19.73 for all of this because of the way that everything was, that I rounded up all the prices here. So this is actually under $20 for a three-day food kit. Now, some of you are taking a look at that and you're going, you just went and got some canned food, man. I don't see the point. Actually, there's a little bit more to this design of this food kit than, than might first meet the, the eye. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit in the next video. But for now, let's just kind of play around with this a little bit because I want to bring something to your attention, and that is I goofed up. Uh, this $19.73 or whatever it actually all cost food kit, this $20 three-day food kit, um, you know how I said 2,000 calories a day? Well, I messed that up. If you average out this, it actually comes to 2,915 calories a day almost a full 50% more calories than you need. Now that gets you two things for your money. One is, if you're somebody that needs more food to begin with, you're in good shape to do that. The second one is, if you only do need those 2,000 calories a day, guess what, you've got closer to uh, like four days worth of food here. If you actually turn this into four days worth of servings, it would still come out to over 2,000 calories a day, 2,186 and a quarter calories per day. This gives you some other options. Uh, one of them is you've got a little bit of food maybe to share with someone. And believe me, sharing a little food with someone 
um, out of what are your stores in a, in a difficult situation. That's going to make you a hero in their eyes. The other one is for future planning. If you just duplicate this out, keep in mind that this really is four days worth of food. I'm going to explain these choices in the next video, but I wanted to get this out to you today and give you a shopping list. Um, again, the Denti Moore stew, baked beans, the Chef Boyard mini ravioli, a can of Spam, the non-refrigerated pudding cups, the uh, powder, the, uh, the instant oatmeal, and the rice. This is a 72-hour food kit, and this meets every requirement. It actually exceeds them for under $20 per person. That's Zombie Tactics for today, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.